hi and welcome my friend to the first uh, video in this app so uh, in fact this is the second one the previous one we have made the overview if you haven't checked that out yet then you will find the link to this full series in the description down below so in this video are going to kickstart our uh, journey in this social media app so i highly recommend you go first and get uh, the UI so if you haven't get it from the last episode then you will find it in the description so go and get it it is very 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 cheap so go and get it so uh, it doesn't matter the price so go and get it right now clone it to your uh, project so you can get to work with me on this app so in this video we are going to actually build the database model of our uh, app so it is going to be very simple but it will be more powerful as we move further in this playlist so uh, i hope you will enjoy this video so let's buckle up and get started well uh, the first thing that i will be uh, doing here is to so this is just uh, uh, the ui of the app now i will go to the database now as you can see it is very uh, empty so let's put something there so let's first start by uh, creating the most important uh, collection of our project which is the users so let's fill it automatically with these fields so we might need something else so we can add it when we move further in this uh, playlist of course right so the, you, you can ignore this for now but if he, they bother you so you can just go and link your uh, app to a firebase uh, or a firestore project so you and you can generate your config files so we are going to do that in a second but for now let's keep building our model here so here once we have uh, set up our users collection then we can add uh, uh, another one which is going to be posts right uh, posting is one of the most fundamental aspects of any social media app so we are going to have uh, the post and inside of that so we are going to be building our schema for that so for each post what do we need so we may want to need uh, a post image which is uh, an image path so i'm going to be add the the, the others uh, just in a second and uh, talk about each one and what it means so this is actually what we need so for each post we need uh, the post image so some people may want to upload an image along with the text in their social post so we have the user which means that who put posted that post so it is a document reference from the users so because the post users is one uh, is someone inside the users collection so the users likes means how much likes that post actually got so you can you can put like uh, post likes if you like but i will keep it users likes the same goes for shares it is an integer just like user likes so how much people like the video uh, so like the post and how much people share the post so speaking about likes and sharing so if you like this video so go now and uh, give it a thumbs up so we like so it can have a higher users likes and also if you want to help a lot of people actually learn no code and flutterflow then you can share this with them so we can increase that users shares of this video so go and do it right now and then come back so uh, once you have done that of course so we can move on now uh, the next field we have is the post text which is so we have the post image and the post text so th these are obvious it is a string someone may want to just put an, a text without any image just like we how we do on twitter so or x if you like uh, post users post username so uh, this is the document reference of the user who posted that post and this is the name his name which is going to be a string and his image which is going to be an image so uh, I, I'm not gonna go going to tell you that this is the ultimate uh, database structure whatsoever because uh, uh, further the more we go in this app the, uh, the new things that we are going to be discovering because I haven't uh, built this app before um, I have decided to build it with you because it is very simple it doesn't require a lot of uh, knowledge and skills anyway but uh, the structure that we are going to be using now may change over time which is very good by the way so in the next step we are going to be creating another collection which is going to be the comments right for each post so we are going to have comments people may comment on that 
and again speaking about comments if you have any problem or question go now and put it in the comment section so right uh, now we can add a sub collection of posts right this time it is going to be comments and uh, the the fields or the scheme are going to be very simple so i will show it to you in a second so this is the uh, the schema of the comment or the comments sub collection so for each comment we are going to have the comment user which is again a document re reference from the user users collection which means that uh, who put that comment anyway so if you comment on one of my videos then you are going to be the comment user in this case right so again the comment text and uh, you may have noticed that i don't have comment image because i don't allow users to put images in our comments because you know it's not uh, practical so even in youtube you may not be able to put an image uh, in the comment of a video you can use a gif but you cannot put an image so as far as i know uh, so the comment likes means that how much people like it, that specific comment which will tell us if it is a good or a bad comment right so now this is all you need to, to know about these first uh, three collections and now let's move on and create our last collection this step i'm going to be adding a new collection called chats so the next most important aspect of any social media app is the chat aspect so we want to have chats and this is going to be very similar to what we have seen uh, in the build a chat app uh, playlist in this channel so make sure you watch that playlist it is very awesome and simple it teaches you a lot of skills that you can use in various types of apps so go now and watch it uh, you will find it in my channel go to my channel and go to the playlist tab you will find it in green so you can uh, go there and actually watch that playlist it is very uh, important and i highly recommend you watch before you go and uh, watch uh, and actually uh, move on in this uh, particular playlist so anyway let's uh, create this so let's actually build this together right so uh, for any chat that we are going to be inside of so we want to have participants uh, images so uh, those who who are actually participants in that specific uh, chat so this first is going to be a list so even if it is two it is a list it is more than one it is going to be a list so this is list of image path or image paths if you like so uh the same goes for the name so i'm going to be adding participants names uh, a list of strings so and i'm going to copy this for the next field so uh here we want to use the their id right so uh who they are inside of this collection this is going to be a document reference uh, in from the users and it's going to be a list uh, of items and we need also a field called last message which which is which is going to be a string so the last message in that specific uh, uh, chat so we want to have also uh, the timestamp of that last message so this is pretty much the same as we have seen uh, in the chat uh, uh, in build a chat build a chat app playlist in this channel so that's why i highly recommend you watch that before you go further in this video because this is very important anyway uh now i'm going to move on to the next uh, sub collection which is going to be again yes of course it is a sub collection of chats so what do we have in each uh, chat so we have messages of course right so we have the message and in that message so it is very simple we want to have the sender id who sent so it is the sender sorry so it's going to be copying that and it's document reference users it is not a list so each message has only one sender so again these are just the name and the, the information of that uh, particular uh, sender so by the way you may have seen that i'm using the id and uh, some of the data of the user so you may say that we can just use this to bring the data of the user so i have tried it and it didn't work for me personally but for you it may work i believe in you you can you need to go 
try it and uh, if it worked if you just needed uh, the sender id if you you didn't s need the sender name the sender image so it is very nice it is very important so come back and tell us that it worked but for me i'm doing this because i want to avoid a lot of uh, backend code a uh, backend sorry a uh, backend calls because if i use only the sender id i need to do a uh, backhand call each time or in pretty m uh, for example i can do it uh, five times in a, in a page which will reduce the performance of my app that is why i use these fields because they don't require me to do any kind of uh, backhand call which will increase the performance of my uh my app right so this is an image path of course and now finally we have the message uh text so f some of you may say that uh, why are you using a message text we know that a message is a text in a chat but sometimes it's going to be an audio it's going to be a, an image it's going to be a video it's going to be anything so uh speaking about audio so i i'm not sure how to do it uh in this app particular app uh, so i may do it in more in other tutorials so make sure you subscribe and uh, turn on the bell icon so when i posted that you will be the first one to get notified and learn about how you can send audio files in a chat app so you can come back and integrate it inside this app right so but in this place i'm not going to do that anyway so the message text is a string and uh, last but not least is the message uh, image right so we can have that image in any way but we are not going to use the video uh, so i say that this is everything that we need and just to get rid of this yellow stuff so let me come here and actually so uh, uh these are my my projects so i just want to go to youtube it is so you may have a different project so go here and just uh, copy uh, the project id and then when you come here go to your, so you can just integrate your flutterflow projects with your firebase projects you can connect them and once they are connected you can click on auto generate the, the config files so and once they are uh, actually generated you will be able to uh, go back to your photo flow without seeing those yellow uh, boring text at the bottom of the screen so this is the tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope that you have actually gotten a value from this so the reason why i have made this video so i could have skipped it but i did it because i wanted you to understand the structure of my database so when we are going to be building and developing our app we are not going to have any problem so here as you can see we have successfully connected firebase to fire store and uh, so the flood flow to firebase and we can don't see those boring stuff there so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time and attention so the next so in this video are going to actually talk about the authentication so it might appear somewhere here on the screen or by the end of this video if it was already there but if it wasn't and if you really want this and you want to be the first one to be notified when it is published so i have got your covered so go now subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon so uh, once you have turned that bell icon on so i will be able to send you notifications if i posted uh, a new episode in this place so this place is gonna be awesome i'm really excited to publish more videos so all you have to do is to go now right now don't do anything just go subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon and then go to your flutterflow products clone this app and then do the necessary changes when it comes to the database right so do that just, just do just like how i did and i will meet you on the next episode so take care of yourself